Hey team, it's George here, and there is a video going around that is grossly inaccurate showing how corona swabs are done, and it's done in such a way that makes it appear like a really painful, horrible experience. So, in the nature of journalistic medical integrity, I'm going to make a video that shows you exactly how the swab is done. Now, a couple of caveats though. One, I do not have corona symptoms, so therefore the swab that I'm doing will not be sent in because I don't want to waste resources. We have limited amounts of tests, therefore it's very important that only people who meet the criteria are getting swabbed. This will change over time. Um, however, if you have symptoms, it is important that you get swabbed. Now for the demonstration, I'm not going to be using the actual Corona swab. And the reason for that is that they are in limited supply and I don't want to waste one. If you have a look at this swab now, this is what the Corona swab looks like. It's a long, flexible swab with a slightly fluffy end. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using a very, very similar swab. Again, long and flexible with a, a cotton end that's a little bit fluffy. Now, this is how we are currently instructed to do the corona swabs, but I want you to understand that it's not nearly as horrible as people are making out. So, the first thing is that they swab the back of the throat. So. done and then they do a little swab of the nose so it goes the nose has plates and it's going to go along the plate of the nose tap the back and then come out so let's for the kids they'll love this video for the adults you might be going Ooh. anyway i just want to show you that it's not nearly as bad as you think it is so it's just going to go into the nose sliding along tap tap that's it, it's done. It felt a little bit uncomfortable and it does give you that tickle in the back of the nose and like, but it's done. I want you to see that it's not a horrible experience. So if you do have symptoms and you need to get swabbed, please get swabbed because that way we can ensure that we are getting an understanding of what is happening with COVID within the community. But I absolutely wanted to share this to show that, that that getting swabbed should not be an impediment, that it's not a horrible experience, it's over and done with quickly, and when you know your result, it will make a big difference, not only for you, but for the people that you have been interacting with as well, and this is important. So there we go. I wanted to dispel that bad video that's really very inaccurate, and I wanted to show you this is actually what happens. I hope that was helpful.